I once thought the scariest thing someone could do was leave me. Deceive me with pure intentions, harsh corrections, point out my imperfections and break down my soul. Remove the pieces of me that made me whole. Force me to forgo all the healing I had done. Explosions show the battered feelings just for fun. Leave me reeling, trapped, cannot breathe, cannot run. Because who runs from open arms? Who tries to escape before they've sounded an alarm? Who mistakes evil for kindness and arms? Why am I upset by someone who promises to stay forever? I feel such regret, my heart feels neglect. I don't know my next steps, except that I don't want us to be together. I don't want to read your love letter. I don't want to question if I'm better than the circumstance I find myself in. Please understand that this lies deep within. I want you to go. I don't want to know how you've been. I don't want to hear about the movie you've seen. I don't want to see your name on my screen. I don't need your shoulder to lean on. I don't need your presence to find comfort from. Laugh or fight or tell me I'm right when I'm wrong, please. I want you gone. I once thought the scariest thing someone could do was leave me, but what's scarier is someone who won't free me. No real expression or a chance to be me. Rose-tinted glasses so I won't ever see the mess you've made. I know you won't confess, take credit for the stress and disorientation you've transgressed through your fiendish acts. I'm speaking facts, but to you it's merely opinion. Your treatment lacks an element of emotional conviction and no agreement or pact could grant you any jurisdiction over the way I choose to live. When you lose, I have to give. You take and exploit the kindness I'm dealing with. You monopolise and mislead, compromise my needs, fulfil selfish deeds I do not authorise. God knows I tried to find a way out, to unmuffle the shouts, keep count of the times you inflicted self-doubt. Was I not clear enough? Was I too kind, too gentle, too soft? Too trusting that a fellow human being might know when to stop? When to drop the conversation, cut off all association, listen to the exclamation of which I expressed my opinion? No, you may not continue, you may not even begin. You cannot do or think of anything which lets you win. You cannot trap me in with your narcissism, incessant criticism, manipulative optimism that you use as a defence mechanism to hide your true self. You're a narcissist. Your trauma helped assist the saviour complex in me that couldn't resist doing the saving. You play the cards you're dealt. You didn't care how I felt. You're only losing your mind now because I'm not here to help. I once thought the scariest thing someone could do is leave me, but the scariest thing someone can do is plead to stay, refuse to go away, instead obsess over me yet another day. I want to feel no real fear, have no actual reason to need safety near, no worries of the ones who lurk and leer, no stories from the ones who won't disappear, no obsessive declarations, unwanted information, forceful relations, or anything anyone could do to make me scared. I've drawn the line, so be prepared. I'm fine, so you would go if you really cared. My heart needs to heal, so please depart, please just leave. I haven't breathed in so long, so please, I want you gone.